Welcome back guys. So what's the deal with pan? I've previously made a video before uh talking about pan and react native and we didn't see much change until recently. So with pan 1. So the first version of of pan. So pan is a new javascript runtime that is designed to be fast and it is designed to be a drop-in replacement for Node.js. So what has been added as well is that it can also be used as a bundle, native bundler and a run and a test runner. So but then for React Native, how does Bun affect us? So I've made another video before. I'll, I'll put it in the in the link above. Just if you wanna get a my previous reaction on ban but for react native there are a few ways that ban can speed up the development the first one is that since it's faster than node and and the reason why it's faster than node is because it is made or written with with zig a, a compiled language which is known for its performance uh the second one is that like i can mention is that since ban is a includes a, a native bundler um which can significantly reduce the size of our react native apps as well that's, that's there is an improvement in the loading time of your, of our app uh which can help us fix bugs find them and move quickly and if you're using a ci runtime so can even save you money uh, for that case. So we saw a couple of other posts as well, which so we talked about uh, what I'm talking about right now. Here we have Brent from from Expo. Uh, he initialized an a new Expo app with the Ban X Create Expo Hello World. I'm just gonna show you right now how to install Ban. Um, but then he saw like almost forty percent improvement in speeds so only one point one point let's say 1.3 seconds to to create or uh, to initialize a new app that, that's that's crazy guys like it's it's crazy initially it took 15 seconds and on slower networks uh like the one i have it almost took like a minute to, to initialize an expo app or a react native for a react native app it took even longer so let's say like five minutes or something like that so with with barn it can literally take me seconds so for me it will be a game changer and for many people as well it's a game changer so so this this is actually amazing so this this is with expo and and the reason why the speed is so fast like i mentioned that's that um when you look at that, uh, when you look at the way Ban was, was created with Zig, like performance is is key, and and since also like it improves uh, or is faster than Node, so it's four times faster than Node, so it also just makes it super quick to to do. An installment. So, so if we look at here, this is another example as well from Thomas, uh, using Ban to initialize a React Native app, and the speeds are there, and it's just crazy how fast it is to install all the dependencies, all install the full code, just like that. It's done. So. Ban is a game changer for for React Native, so let's let's see how you can install Ban. Um, I found that the best way or the easiest way to install Ban is to use the npm package. Uh, there are a couple of ways of installing it based on your operating system, but npm is probably the easiest one you can use uh to install ban you can just simply go you can open your your terminal and then let's just simply 
close that it will be simply npm install ban so this way like you won't get much problem it's just like that and you can see that it's actually installed you can do a couple of things to test it out so for example they have a star guide uh, that you can use but you can also use ban test v to see the version of, of ban that you have so at least i know that it's installed another way we can actually play around with ban is to actually use the the astat uh they have a they have installation guide also like a, a simple way to see like a quick start so we can actually use the quick start to see how pan works so let me just go back to to my terminal and then what i'm gonna see i'm gonna go cd code see, i'm just gonna go to my code uh folders and then go to the back end one so i'm gonna make a new directory which i'm gonna call a uh, ban quick start so let's cd into that ban quick start let's open it up so this will just open visual studio code so let's Let's initialize ban by saying ban init. This will initialize ban similar to how you initialize node. Uh, we're just gonna give it the, the default stuff. So it's gonna create those those folders for us. And you'll see that it has that ban lock. I'll just so it's normally you'd have like a yarn or npm uh, lock. So so this is simple interface uh it's a in essence a node.js project but it's a ban project it's, it's very crazy to to think about it like it's actually a ban project so we can start it by saying uh ban index .js. this is similar uh, ts this is similar to how you initialized a a a node project so you can see that hello Ban is written there. Okay, cool. Let's see how we do some other uh, more advanced things. So we can actually create a script here for for ban, similar to how you you do it with um, similar to how you do it if you're using um, no Node.js. So if I go to here. So let's create the script, which is the, uh, to start up on. Okay, that's, that's all work. I think that don't, uh, don't be a problem. So what we're gonna do is now is gonna say pan run start. This does the same thing again, but it's like you saw how fast it was. So it was like super fast. Let's do just like one last thing, which is also returning the quick start. So we're just gonna install the package and then see the improvements there. So we're just gonna install this simple package. So we're just gonna say ban add figlet. This is a library which allows you to to have graphics or work with like uh, ASCI at. So since we're using TypeScript, we just have to also add the types as well. So ban add dev dependency at types slash 
quick light. Cool. So once we, we have that, we can just go back to our code, command B, and then we're just gonna uh, change the code here. And we're gonna just do something like this. We're gonna We're just gonna, we can even log this out. Okay. We can even log the, the port that we're running on. Let's see if What I'm looking for, I don't know why it's, it's playing around there. Oh, it's because my back ticks are okay. Cool, let's save that. Let's do band run start again, and you can see that we're actually running at part 3000. So if we go to Part 3000 now, let's see. To localhost. We're gonna see what we're gonna find there. If I go to here, we can say localhost 3000, boom. So it's running a ban. So that's when you know that it's, it's working. So since, since I already have like a, a React Native project, which is here, Let's see if we can actually use bun in this project. So um, so this is a simple React Native project that you'll see there's nothing installed currently. Um, so so what I'll do is that I'm gonna install a package, uh, a React Native package. Uh, let's choose any package. Let's say the easiest one I can find, can think about now is Yap. So we're gonna say bun. install yeah so we're currently installing yap now to did you say that like i was just just began speaking and it's already done and so it installed yap here which is a it's more of like uh like it's normally used with a uh, formic to to do some validation of emails and stuff like that so this this is this is with ban and similar you can also do ban remove yep boom gone yeah so this, this is similar how you would do yarn remove or yarn add or if you're using npm npm install so now we're using ban but it's super fast ultra fast so this is a game changer for for react native and guys let, let, let me just say that i'm super excited for this one so if you want to see more videos on how you can use ban with react native uh Give this video a like, subscribe. I'm gonna do more videos for you guys. And one thing I can say is that keep learning.